there was once a king, and he knew it was good to be king. But the things this king were going well. There had been rain, there had crops, he didn't have any enemies. Life was good, and he was getting a little bored. So we went to his courtiers and he said, what can I do to make life a little bit different? And they had some ideas, but not many. And then somebody said, do you mean what could you do to be more powerful? And he went, well, that wasn't my idea, but yeah. So they talked about it. And finally there was an idea. If you could get a whole group of people to move out of your kingdom, that would show real power. And then they had discussed what group of people, and they had different suggestions. And finally somebody said, well, the Hebrew people, the Jews. And he goes, oh no, they're, they're good people. They caused a problem. But he thought about it and he thought, all right, we'll do this. I'll have a contest. And if they lose the contest, we, we could ask them to leave. And they all said, all right. He said, we're going to have a, a silent debate, a debate in sign language. And his quarters all went, what? Because they didn't do anything about sign language. So he said, yes, I, I'll work on it. You, you get somebody to, to be the next, next Monday and we'll have a debate. So they went out, they went into the Hebrew community and they said, there's going to be a contest Monday and if you lose, you have to leave. I went, what? So they explained, the, the king was going to have a contest, a silent debate. And he finally said he was going to have three questions he's going to ask and they had to answer correctly. Nobody wanted to do this. It was insane. So the doctors, the lawyers, the merchants, the bankers, they, they all said no because they were afraid they'd lose. So legend tells it that there was a little poultry man, a chicken man, who sold chickens, eggs, grain, and he'd been out of town on a buying mission. So when he came back in, they said, Yanko, Yanko, that was his name. Yanko, you're going to have to go against the king Monday in a debate in sign language. And he went, what? Why me? I, I, I have no education. I know nothing about sign language. But then after talking, he realized if he didn't do it, no one would. So he was willing. So one day came, the king was in his royal robes, and he came out feeling very important. And Yonko was scared to death in, in his peasant garb. And the king said, you understand? I'm going to give three signs in sign language, and you are to answer appropriately. And Yonko said, yes, your majesty. And the king said, are you ready? My first sign is, <clears throat> and Yonko went like this, and the king said, oh, that's astonishing. You were right. And everybody in the audience went, ah, <laughs> because nobody knew what either sign meant. And then the king said, are you ready for my second? Yes, your majesty. And the uncle went like this. And the king said, very good. And again, people went, yeah, yeah. And then the king reached into his royal robes and brought out a, a piece of cheese. It was rather old and crumbly. And the uncle looked at it, reached his pouch, it brought an egg, and the king looked from cheese to egg and said, Amazing, what a wonderful answer. You and your people may stay in my kingdom forever. And the people went, ah, ah, because they didn't know what happened. 
So the king was going back into his court, and the courtiers were following, saying, Your Majesty, Your Majesty, what was that all about? Well, my first sign meant that Jews are scattered all over the face of the earth. But the uncle said, No, Your Majesty, my people are one in the hand of God. And his courtiers went, then I said, there are two kings who you must serve, meaning me the king on earth, he the king above. But Yanko said, no, your majesty, my people serve but one true king, he who reigns above. The court just went, <sighs> then Magic said, I, I, I brought out the piece of cheese that was kind of old and crumbling, meaning the Jewish religion was old and crumbling. But Yaakov brought an egg and said, Your Majesty, my people, my religion, is fresh and whole. And they all went, my, that, Those people may stay in my kingdom forever. And he left. Meanwhile, back in the Jewish community, they were saying, Yankel, Yankel, what happened? And Yankel said, I don't know. <laughs> it looked like he was going to reach out and hit me. So I put up my hand to say, you better not. <laughs> and then it looked like he was going to poke me in the eyes. So I blocked him. <laughs> And then he brought out this piece of cheese. It looked pretty good. So I brought out my hard-boiled egg for lunch. I thought he was trying to be friendly. <sighs> and his people went, ah. And obviously, the king was much pleased with his people, and they stayed in his king. <laughs>